Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the fall 2016 playoff round for the Design of Coffee competition. So after the gong rings, you guys have 45 minutes to brew your coffee, okay? Yay. We're standing in the coffee lab at UC Davis, and so what's happening today is that our class, the Design of Coffee, is having their final design competition where their goal is to make the best tasting coffee, as judged by a blind taste panel, using the least amount of energy. We started the design of coffee in 2013 as a freshman seminar with only 18 students, and now we teach more than 1,500 students per year. Most recently, the students voted it as the most popular elective uh, general education course on campus. It actually beat the introduction to beer brewing and the introduction to human sexuality courses. So we like to say now that coffee is more popular than sex and beer. All right, you guys, time's up, time's up. Coffee is one of the most widely consumed beverages in the world. And UC Davis is already world famous for its wine and its beer programs. But for historical reasons, there hasn't been much emphasis on coffee. One of the nice things about this course is it really served as a catalyst for creating the UC Davis Coffee Center, where our goal is to start a upper division graduate level curriculum focused on coffee that's very analogous to the wine program, and also to use the coffee center to do cutting edge research in the area of coffee. We want to do for coffee what UC Davis has already done for wine and beer. People in the coffee industry are really excited about the idea of UC Davis building a coffee center and taking the idea of coffee research more seriously. UC Davis is really well positioned to do coffee research. It's got a long history of food science, engineering, agricultural study that make it really uniquely qualified to investigate coffee. I'm standing in a pilot winery, for example, that's a state-of-the-art facility to investigate wine science. We could do that for coffee too, and we'd love to. One of the really exciting things is that we have a whole building located near the Robert Mondavi Institute for Wine and Food Science that is going to be dedicated for coffee science. So it's a 6,000 square foot building. It has four high bay labs, one of which will be the Pete's Coffee Pilot Roastery. Uh, but we're going to have several other capabilities and functions in the center. We're going to have an experimental green bean storage facility to look at issues associated with how storage affects the quality of coffee. It's going to have a cupping and sensory laboratory. It's going to have a chemical analytical laboratory. Uh, it's going to have a brewing and espresso laboratory. And we're looking for industrial partners to help us to renovate this building into a coffee center to do uh, advanced coffee science education and research. Without further ado, the winning group, the one who gets to move on to the championship round to compete for uh, glory, fame, and extra bonus points. Another drum roll. It was crap. I, Big Arrow 7, Emma, and Shannon, you guys know number one. One of the most common questions we get now is uh, what's the next class we can take about coffee? And I have to tell them right now there isn't really one. But hopefully by the end of 2017, by the next academic year, we'll have the Pete's Coffee Pilot Roastery online and we'll be able to start teaching coffee science at a higher level.